Hey everybody, how's it going? In case you guys were wondering, I was out of town for the Dead Man Mode tournament as well as the beginning of the next Dead Man Mode season. So I'm extremely far behind, I'm a level 3, but I want to make sure I make it into the next Dead Man Mode tournament. So I'm going to be scaling and getting my total level up to be inside the top 2,000 people, which will be changing as the season progresses. But let's have a look at what it is at right now. Looking at the Dead Man Mode seasonal high scores at this moment, all I need is 761 total level to be in the top 2000. But that's obviously going to get quite a bit higher in the coming couple months. So I'm going to get more like 1200 total level or 1400 total level, which requires quite a bit of skilling. Now, this account isn't even PvP based. I'm just going to be skilling on it, seeing how much money I can make. Maybe I'll swap it over. Maybe I'll keep it. And maybe eventually I'll train up combat stats just for the total level. And who knows? Maybe I'll go PKing. But for now, this is a dead man mode skiller, which is just about the most worthless thing you've ever heard. But that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Okay guys, I hope you know, dead man mode XP rates are five times the normal XP rates. So I thought I'd just start out by getting a high thieving level. And I thought, so you just gotta start out by pickpocketing men. So we'll get to level five and then we'll go steal from the cake stall. Oh, we haven't failed yet, nice. What the shit? No, I'm just joking with you guys. 80 thieving already. Gotcha. So we got 24 GP right here, but let's also look in the bank to see what we got from uh, 1 to 80 thieving. I've been thieving mostly in our Dugni or our Dung, whatever you want to call it. But we have 230k cash along with some cakes. I kept some of the tools from Tutorial Island in case I want to train those skills next. But there is a grand exchange in Dead Man Mode Seasonals now. I'm going to convert this cash stack into stuff I can put in my deposit box in case somebody decides to kill me. So we have 80 thieving, and I thought what we could do now is compare what- Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no way! I didn't know this wasn't a safe area. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Did that just happen? He hit a zero! Holy fuck! I thought that was a safe area from the bank to here. I've never been to the Grand Exchange before on Dead Man Mode Seasonals. Did he- He almost just got me. No freaking way. Oh my god, that would have been so bad. Wow. That would have been awful. The three guys I'm looking at pickpocketing are heroes, paladins, and knights right here. Now, knights are probably the best XP per hour, but I really have never gotten a concrete answer as to what's the best money per hour. So what I decided I could do is thieve heroes, paladins, and knights in Ardugni each for one hour and we could see how much XP and how much profit I get at 80 thieving. Now of course when I thieve heroes I'm going to get caught so much but they do give a lot of GP if you succeed and paladins give two chaos runes and something like 80 GP or something like that every time you thieve them and knights just give 50 GP per time you steal from them, but they have by far the best success rate. Guys, I know it's totally illogical to have such low hit points when thieving, but we're gonna do it anyway, and I'm gonna start with the heroes here. Now I've banked enough cakes for the hour so that I'm not gonna have to go to the cake stall, and so that these methods will be kind of more concrete. But remember, there is luck involved in this with uh, how many times you succeed and fail. So let's start one hour of pickpocketing heroes. Okay, I don't think heroes are worth it at all, but we will see. So I got roughly 246,000 XP in that hour, and I got 50,000 GP. Let's see what we got from one hour of pickpocketing paladins. Now I know these chaos runes, although it says 69 GP, they go for about 75, but we'll just keep it at 50k. And then we got another 28k in cash, so we got about 79,000 GP which is much better than heroes because that's almost 30k an hour better uh which is kind of interesting let's see what we got xp wise roughly 285,000 xp was gained so it's better money and better xp at a roughly level 80 81 82 uh compared to heroes so paladins are better but now i'm guessing the knights are going to be even better than that one hour of pickpocketing knights is up i got 51k which is tied for second place with the hero. 
Now here's the difference between both the hero pal and paladin versus the knight. Whatever you make for the hero and paladin aside, the knight is by far the best XP because I've gotten around 440,000 XP in an hour and I wasn't even that efficient about it. Which means I'm also at 84 thieving. That's kind of crazy. So the Knights of Ardung are almost twice as much XP as the heroes and paladins. Similar money to the hero, the paladin does win on the money aspect, but I would still say go with Knights at 80 thieving because of the insane XP rates. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and tell me in the comments what dead man mode skill I should train next and to what, for what, and maybe what I should test. Because I do want to try to have some fun and make some videos with this dead man mode training. It might not be the most interesting, but I hope this video was. I do have quite a bit more loot to sell, maybe about 220k total worth. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.